Let's design a meeting room booking app. Let's start with a simple meeting room booking form. Furnish the form with the necessary fields such as name, subject and dates. Click on Generate app to create a CRUD based on this form. CRUD is to facilitate basic operation of a form record. Let's close this and launch the app from the App Center. Click on Manage Booking. We can now start to add new record rows based on the form design that we have just created. With this, we have successfully completed the first iteration of the app design. We are now able to record meeting room bookings. Let's move on to refine the listing here. We can edit the list to manage the data columns being shown. All right. It is better now. Next, let's present the record rows in a better interface, in a calendar. Get to the user view builder, add in a calendar menu. We will just need to configure it such that this calendar menu would pull the data from the appropriate place.
There we go, bookings are now easier to be seen in this way. Let's enhance it further so that we can click on the item in the calendar to view the record in the original form. We will configure the calendar to respond to click event to point to the form. Since the form is only meant for the calendar view, we will make it as read-only and conceal the form menu from the user view. Moving on to the next phase, we are going to add an approval process to the booking. From the booking form again, click on Generate App. This time around, choose the approval process. This is the process that is generated in which we can refine in its process builder later. Moving on, we are going to configure one of the tools to send out email with a copy of the booking. Let's get back to the runtime and start an approval process. Upon submission of this form, it will then flow to the approval activity. Let's get it approved and an email would follow. Moving on, as we have approval process now, we should modify the listing and calendar to reflect the new field accordingly. Add in the approval status column in the data list builder. And, in the calendar menu, we will show only the approved records.
In the next phase, we are going to make the room selection dynamic. Let's create a new meeting room form. The availability of room for booking will be controlled through the select box. We can make use of CRUD for this form entity too. Now, let's add a few rooms in. Set all of them to available. In the booking form, it is still showing the old hard-coded options. Let's modify the form to look up into the new room listing. We can also make use of Ajax subform to display room information as room selection is made. We can try it out in the preview here. And, it works fine in runtime too. Next, we are going to enforce the room availability. And users should only see rooms that are available.
Let's set one of the rooms as unavailable. Let's add a condition into the select box itself. The selection is now showing only rooms that are available. End users would not see the maintenance section when making booking. We are basically done with the core design. Let's create some reports of the bookings. We can put all the reports in a new user view. Firstly, we will create a report by status. We can quickly derive the dataset needed by using the data binder. Next, we can quickly replicate the work done and generate another report. Let's create a report by requester. And, lastly, by room. Going back to the first user view, we can make use of the dashboard menu and point to the new user view from this. With this, we can easily access and show all charts in a single page. Let's remove the first page in this dashboard since it is not needed.
Whatever that we are seeing here, we can also access them through mobile devices easily. Here's the same app available in the Jogit server on a mobile phone browser. We can also access the other apps from the App Center too. It can be added as progressive web app to provide features such as offline storage and push notification. The app we just designed come with responsive view by default. This would provide seamless experience for end users on mobile devices. That's all. Thanks for watching.